The walls are impregnated with different woody smells, cedarwood, olibanum, patchouli, and labdanum. You will find exit by following one scent that starts from the entrance. If you follow the right scent, cedarwood, you will manage to get out of the space. Otherwise, you will be stuck in the maze. The experience is thus as if you are really getting lost in the forest. You can become convinced that human beings, much like dogs, have the ability to sniff around and navigate themselves using their sense of smell. Such omnidirectional olfactory experience has been forgotten in our modern life, so reviving it is especially interesting. I try to exclude visual and audible aspects in my works as much as possible. I let the work explain itself rather than doing so in words. Instead, smells and space communicate with your physical sensations, allowing you to project images and play sounds in the mind. I believe that smell possesses such power. I first experimented a form of labyrinth at low cost, resulting in this first prototype in 2013. If you follow the same scent, you would find the bar counter. The main focus is the olfactory experience rather than the scent itself. I think that smell is, in itself, neutral. It's the audience who attribute meanings such as, I dislike this smell. Or, this is the smell I knew from my grandmother's house, after processing olfactory information in their brains. Such meanings to smells are given from personal experiences and histories. This is why I chose not to give meanings to smells in these projects. I use smells as information for navigation. I rather want to be open to surprising olfactory experiences that we normally wouldn't encounter in daily life. In recent years, my key words have been movement and omnidirectional olfactory experiences. The sensations created by actively finding smells are very different from just passively receiving smells. There are possibilities open for new dimensions for new perceptions and memory structures.